E-commerce is transforming the marketplace across the globe. Look at some of the world's most successful companies. Amazon has no points of sale. Uber owns no vehicles. Netflix, the largest pay TV service, owns no transmission infrastructure. And Alibaba, one of the world's most valuable retailers, has no inventory. In Qatar, the potential for e-commerce is enormous because it has a population with a high disposable income, a strong and secure ICT infrastructure, and a highly connected society. It has the seventh largest business to consumer market in the MENA region today, with that number expected to double by 2020. The average transaction is impressive. The annual spend is the highest in the region, yet only a fraction of Qatar's population shop online. More startups, businesses, and large retailers like Lulu and IKEA are already providing services online. Many home-based businesses are trading and marketing their products through social channels like Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp. Consumers choose e-commerce for convenience, choice, and cost. Adoption will grow with more awareness, enhanced trust in online platforms, and better return and refund policies. Delivery services are critical for e-commerce to thrive. The government plans to open its postal services market, encouraging innovation and competition, and utilizing the new addressing system, Inuani, the blue plate. Payments are critical for e-commerce. There are a number of options out there, prepaid cards, M and E wallets, international wallets, mobile point of sale, one-time e-commerce vouchers, and even installment payments. Yet today, Cash on delivery is dominant in Qatar. Only 49% of consumers have debit cards and 29% own credit cards. Local banks should provide more payment options. Qatar can become a regional hub for e-commerce if we improve delivery services, provide more innovative payment options, and simplify the business setup process. As Qatar transitions into becoming a smart nation, E-commerce will be part of our daily lives. Mobile commerce will be the norm for customers. And emerging technologies like drones, 3D printing and robotics will reduce the cost of delivery, expand production and automate services 24-7. The best is yet to come.